of the Empire State Building. C100. It's so wild, man, because it's just you automatically smile because yeah, of his yeah. smile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Welcome to the Z100 Artist Interview Lounge presented Ooh. by Hackensack Brady and Health. This right here is Marshmallow Yo. in the building. Yo. Marshmallow. Yep, yep, yep. I Hello. have been at the front row screaming at you, but I've never seen you in the flesh. And it's it's go. just as good like right here. Thanks there for still stopping by, bro. <laughs> Just got a little smile on my face always, right? <laughs> How are you feeling? What's going on? I'm feeling great. You know, just got back from some shows in Europe and came straight here. Dude. And here we are. Europe. Okay. Um, Europe. Because it is, it's plenty of stamps on the passport. Oh, yeah. Um, but now, when you're when you're traveling across the globe and you're getting mm-hmm. to do what you love to do, yes. let's rewind time and think about those moments when you were you were a, a, a tiny, like the kind the, the shape of a marshmallow that we would put in our hot chocolate. Right, the little tiny ones. The little yeah, tiny. Like did little you ever baby. think that it would get to this level where you're well, able to do what you love to do globally, fam? Um, it was definitely something that I wanted to do, but kind of wrapping my head around being able to do it to this level yeah. was something that just was kind of, I don't know. I didn't really know what to make of it. Like I was hoping, you know, that, you know, things would go well. And so I just put my head down and just kept working at it. And I mean, it's, it's, it's gotten there. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. safe to say it's gotten there. And a quick tangent about being global before we get to your new music. Right. You're hopping around different islands. You've been DJing for so long. Yeah. If you were an island boy, what island would you be from? Mm. Jamaica. Damn. Damn. Wow. Jamaican man. I love Jamaica. I mean, mean, is is it for the jerk chicken? Is it for the water? Is it for the extracurriculars? No, no, I love the jerk. I love the jerk chicken. Are you okay with the mosquitoes? My brother says that they're wild out there. Um, I don't. I I haven't been in a little bit, but I don't really specifically remember a lot of mosquitoes. You're wearing long sleeves. Yeah, keep the sleeves on. I'm wearing long sleeves. Exactly. (laughs) It works. Yo, you're back with uh, one of the homies. I mean, you guys teased us with this situation, saying like. I think me and Khalid should do something again. It's yep. been what five years yeah, since. Yeah, I think so. God, good lord, dude! How's that been, possible? Two of those years, it was yeah. the world came to a pause. But yes. to know that there is going to be another chance for you to work with someone you love so much yeah. uh, with Khalid, this numb record. How did yeah. that feel to have this in the chamber and to release it to the well, world? You know, because when when we did Silence, you become so close with somebody when, and you guys have the artists come through all the time. And if if artists are doing a song together, they do. They, they do like this together and you yeah. spend a lot of time on the road and performing it and all that stuff So me and Khalid just got so close back then and we kept that we maintained that relationship uh, Just being homies yeah. this whole time and you know, we always talked like we got to get another one We got to get another one and, and we were both kind of on the same page like yeah, and uh, I just I had a gut feeling when I was working on this idea before he hopped on it um, I was like I think he might I think he might really like this. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to ask, right? True. So. Oh, you did the asking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, hey, man, would you ever be down to do a house record type vibe? Kind of like a poppy house record. And he's like, yeah, actually, I, I, I've been wanting to. And I'm like, well, I have this idea. I've and, got something uh, for you. <laughs> um, and he loved it. And he sent it over the next day, and he cut it that night, and it was like immediate. And I was like, okay, well. Yeah, this is the business. On then. Yeah. Okay. Well, did, it, did it take Did it take him a long time to get back to you when you no, first sent him that? I no. Mean, it was like, Yo, would you ever do this type of vibe of a record? And he's like, bubbles? Yeah. And Instant then, bubbles on the text message back. It bubbles right there. Yeah, yeah, that's and our then, guy right there. Then man. send him send him the demo, <laughs> and he's like, I love it. About twenty four hours later, he Facetimes me. Yo, man, I just did it. Uh, I have to catch a flight, but listen to it on Facetime. I'm like, This is amazing. Damn, dude. And love then I was here. like, Send me send me this stuff before you leave. So I can work on it while, while while you're doing whatever you're gonna go do, and that's exactly what happened. And when we were both back, we did the music video, and it was just boom, 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 amazing. All about that business, baby. You know, all about that we business. We need Khalid. that house summer love song yes. right now. And hearing the lyrics, obviously, it's called numb, numb yeah. being numb with your your boo. Just, yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you've actually been like physically numb? It's been so cold or an operation <laughs> or oh, just man. something crazy you did. I don't even know. You know, one time I played a show up in Calgary, Word. I think. Uh-oh. And uh, <laughs> my photographer was like, yo, let's let's hop out and take photos. And I'm like, man, it's it says it's negative 40 Celsius or whatever it was, <laughs> negative 20. 
He's like, no, it'll be okay. And I went out and my skin hurt like immediately. I, I, I never experienced cold like that. That always, that story always stands out. No. But it was an indoor show, so you didn't have to. Oh, but this was just like taking photos before the yeah, show. Yeah, like, yeah. In a okay. park somewhere. No. So like we got out of the car real quick and it was insane. The camera it hurt? Cold. It hurt. Yeah, it really hurt. And so that, to answer your question, <laughs> no, that was definitely fam. the last time. God, man, when when you get to um, when you get to hit the stage, I mean, mm -hmm. again, you know, just doing what you love to do, and I think a lot of people get the misconception that it's just behind the decks, it's just throwing mm -hmm. this party. But when you get to actually pick up the instruments yeah. and show folks that there is so much depth to the production skill and the production side of your heart, mm -hmm. how how bigger does that smile get? Yeah, when I you love get to that show you that, ask me that because that's something I really want to focus on. Um, and we're and we're shooting a documentary, and it's going to highlight. Wow! It's going to highlight what the production process yeah. is, and it's not just behind the decks, like yeah. you said. It's it's me with a guitar. It's me playing the drums myself. It's it's me doing a bunch of things that maybe somebody doesn't even mm -hmm. yeah kind of like put it together. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They see a helmet and and a bunch of lights and a big crowd, and they're like, oh yeah, he presses the button, and you know. No, the, but the it, show goes. But th those layers are deep, man. A, when, yeah. when you get there and you, and you from start to finish and you finish that product and you know how much effort went into it. You, yeah. When you know you get to call on those those guitar skills, you, yeah. what's that fulfillment like in your heart to know, like, damn, I, I did this? Yeah, it's it's just so fulfilling because I'm able to kind of like encompass everything that I am yeah. with music while performing and also playing. And I also like sat down and made it in a studio and yep. then it just kind of all culminates, you know, into a performance or what, whatever the reason I'm there know, it playing is. the guitar in front of people for. So I'm curious about this documentary. Like how, how deep are you going to go? Are we going to be able to like maybe see parts of you without the helmet it's, or? It's, ve it's very early. We, we just started it, but that's just something that I, the production side is, is something that's going to be a part of it that I really want to highlight for people that maybe don't think. Yeah. D don't really, you know. See the behind the scenes. Yeah, don't, um, you don't want to see that, yeah. Are, are there people that are, as a producer, when, when you have the producer hat on, are there people that you, uh, obviously we already talked, working with Khalid, you the Jonas Brothers, I mean, we're, the song is still on repeat on stations yeah. across the globe. That's amazing. Is there still that either group or artist or person that you, you feel in your heart that you as a producer can bring the best out of them that you cannot wait to get into the studio with? Yes, uh, I'd have to say... I listen to him all the time. I'm a huge fan of Bad Bunny. Eso, we need yeah, that. Yeah. I was going to ask you, as Latinos, his, we his, need his some. His melodies and, and the, his m melodic choices mm -hmm. and kind of like the cho the beats that he chooses and his whole vibe. I'm just like, man. Did yeah. you Let's listen to Un, Vera Un Verano Sin Ti? The, his... the news? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, he has a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, we've got, like you said, uh, shows globally, mm -hmm. uh, back to back here, Brooklyn Mirage in yes, the city. Sir. Like, come on, man. Yep. Playing the record and seeing the fans just, you know, jump out of their faces when they hear this this new stuff. Um, does it ever get old? You know what? No, it does not. <laughs> man. It does not. You know, and, and maybe you don't feel as nervous getting in front of a big crowd. That kind of fades away. Yeah. But the enjoyment for it. You know, unless maybe you're having a bad day or something. For sure. Even though, even even if you're having a bad day, getting on stage and, and seeing everybody and seeing kind of what, like watching how they act in the crowd is kind of like what their music means to them, what my for music sure. means to them, and then vice versa. So it's kind of like a fix for everything in a way. On that level, fam. Get up on stage. And we forgot to ask, it's been the first time we've seen you and hung out since the pandemic. Yeah. What did you learn about yourself during that time? I learned to just be able to just relax a little bit and mm. if i need a day to just chill out take that dude that's something dude. I, I never really did and <laughs> i learned that during the pandemic and you know as he says i don't know about you chris i get goosebumps just hearing you say that because it's so it's so important you know i mean we can get lost in the sauce with trying to to just do 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 but at that moment you, you lose who you are and, and you yeah. get burnt out and and you can't create your best work you know, when specifically you run on fumes. for like creative yeah you know purposes um you know because you don't want to like take a day off you just want to say that you're oh yeah I, i'm working really hard but yeah. just sometimes if you just feel it in your gut you just got to do it and Damn. that's what I realized uh, during the pandemic. Yeah, I agree I, with that. I, I got no, I got nothing else right there. That's in me goosebumps. I'm not even in the front, man. Oh, I, I have one more question because right. I saw a really great TikTok okay. of you were performing and someone in the caption said, how does Marshmallow like to take shots on stage? Yeah. I don't know if you remember that one. And you were taking it through a straw. straw. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I wanted to 
to know, do you yeah, like modern to... Modern problems require uh, modern uh, <laughs> solutions. <laughs> solutions. You gotta yeah. find a way. <laughs> How do you feel when you're performing? Do you like to get a little curly sometimes? But I'm sure you're always offered that maybe sometimes you gotta no, say no. it's just, you know, I just like to just have a clear mind. You yeah. Know? Whatever that, whatever that may be, but yeah. Dog, it doesn't take alcohol to bring a smile to his face, yeah. man. You know, there it is. You know. Yo, Numb is here. It's another yep. one. It's another chart topper. Congratulations Thank on, you. uh, you got this team up, man. You and Khalid, they, God, they need to put both of you guys' names on the Hollywood Walk of Fame together, yeah. side by side, because it's, <laughs> well, it's like well, really dope. I always joke with him about it. I'm just like, round two, like. Let's Round go. Three, like, whatever it is. Yeah. Man, forever, uh, forever fans, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, and I'm waiting for that music. Bad Bunny collab because that's my fans, too. So if we can make something <laughs> yeah, happen there, yeah, like, I'll, that would I'll be the cut. Best. I was told that there's um, some Juice World energy that's floating in the, in the atmosphere yeah. and that the bringing bringing his gosh and someone who we lost way too soon, bringing, yes. bringing his, his stories to life now. You've got your hands in some of that, too? Yeah, you know, we made a ton of music together. Wow. In person, all the time. Oh, you got to spend a lot of time with him. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. we made a bunch of music, and, you know, I think right now, just two of those songs have come out, Come and Go and Hate the Other Side. Okay, yeah. On his album, Legends Never Die, and uh, we have a bunch, <laughs> and they're going to see the light of day. Wow. For sure. Do you feel a sense uh, of, of pressure to make sure that when you're dealing with such a such a precious, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, gem in your hand, you know, yeah. his vocals and his story and his legacy and, and knowing what he left on this earth, do you feel a certain pressure to make sure that this is the best of the best and, and you take the time to really focus on Yeah, so my main thing with everything that me and Juice did is I'm keeping it the same way it was when he was alive and that we were both sitting there like we mm. like this mm. i'm not changing it. i'm not remixing it i'm not adding stuff no i'm just keeping it that same way so in a sense of not trying to make it better than what it's, it was it's, 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 what, it's what really we honoring both agreed on yes mm -hmm. in the studio we like this that's what's going to come out what did you learn about him like what did you learn working with him he's probably the most talented person i've ever met mm. i would have to stop we'd have to like he would freestyle for like Two hours, and we'd be like, "Yo, do you want to make music?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to you, to work like, 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 I want to show you this beat. Real wow. Quick. Yeah, and then there'd be sometimes where I, I'd leave beats with him, and then I would see on Instagram Live that he, he cut a song I didn't even know he cut. I'm like, dude, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's like my first time hearing it is like on Instagram. Like, well, his know. fans really appreciate that you're keeping his legacy alive. Like, do you have anything to say to them? They're amazing, and the support they have for him, and I just see it constantly. It's amazing. Mm. It's beautiful. It's the man with the humongous smile and heart of gold. One head. more time. <laughs> there he is. Marshmallow in the building. Round of applause, y'all. Thanks for your time, From fam. the top of the Empire State Building.